Uh, you were talking about the rise of gas prices. Uh, is there any way that uh, talks about uh, lowering the prices? Most of the reason the gas price spiked three years ago was demand for oil increased. Then what happened was we had the terrible recession. A lot of businesses closed, a lot of folks were out of work, folks were driving fewer miles, so demand for oil goes down, prices went down. And by the way, oil prices are worldwide prices. So you don't just have like a U.S. market for oil, you've got a world market for oil. Anything that happens anywhere in the world will lower the price. So now the economy's picking up, which is a good thing. More folks are finding jobs, businesses are starting to hire again, and that's happening all around the world. So now you're starting to see demand go back up, and the prices are going back up. Now, there are a couple of things that we can do, but I'm just going to be honest with you. There's not much we can do next week or two weeks from now. What we can do is, for example, increase oil production here in the United States. But here's the thing about oil. We have about two, to maybe three percent of the world's proven oil reserves. We use 25 percent of the world's oil. So think about it, even if we doubled the amount of oil that we produced, we'd still be short <laughs> by a factor of five. So we can't just drill our way out of the problem. And that's why the second thing we can do is increase efficiency on cars and trucks, which is where most of our oil is used. Now, I noticed some folks clapped, but I know some of these big guys, they're all still driving their big SUVs, you know, they got their big monster trucks and everything. You're one of them? Well, now, here's my point. You know, if, if you're complaining about the price of gas and you're only getting eight miles a gallon, you know, well, I, I, you may have a big family, but it's probably not that big. <laughs> so, how many you have? Ten kids, you said? Ten kids? Well, you definitely need a hybrid van then. <laughs> but, but here's the thing is, is that uh, last year, for the first time in 30 years, we increased fuel efficiency standards on cars and trucks. And we didn't do it, by the way, with a law. We got auto workers, auto companies, environmentalists, everybody agreed to it. That's going to save us about 1.8 billion uh, barrels of oil. But we can do more. The more efficient our auto fleets are, the more efficient our truck fleets are, the less people are using, that lowers gas prices as well. So that's the second thing we can do. The third thing we can do is we can start looking at electric cars and maybe natural gas cars so that we're not just using petroleum to power our vehicles. So number one, increase oil production, but that's not a short, that's not a long ter a short term solution. And it's not a long-term solution either. It'll just, it'll help a little bit. Number two, more efficient cars, so we're using uh, our gas uh, more effectively. Number three, shifting to electric cars uh, and other forms of transportation so we don't use oil as much. None of that's going to help you this week, though. So, you know, like I said, if you're getting eight miles a gallon, you may want to think about a trade-in. <laughs>